Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I make carrot cake and the kind of carrot cake that I'm about to give you is that delicious one you just wanna keep on eating because all the ingredients there are balanced from your carrot, raisins, walnuts, all the ingredients just end up in every single bite. And if you're interested in a delicious, moist carrot cake, let's begin this recipe because I am hungry for some carrot cake. I made it last week and my family is requesting more, so let's get to it. Okay, friends. Well, we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off with our eggs, okay? Make sure you pay attention to the recipe in the description area, friends. Are those room temperature? Yep, they're room temperature eggs. Look at all, how great they look. Yeah, they do. They're, in, like, they're gonna do the synchronized swimming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and add your vanilla and we're gonna beat these just to break them up a little bit, okay? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our sugar. Regular sugar and our brown sugar, yeah. Pour some sugar. Oh, I knew I knew we were coming for that. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and beat these ingredients, and I'm gonna show you what we're looking for. Okay, so you're gonna be here for a few minutes. Hang tight. All right, so that was about a minute and a half. It's nice and whipped, and it kind of looks like a cinnamon dolce, right? Nice. Do you think that, what, what color will you describe this looks like? My skin color. Okay, you yeah. wish, you <laughs> wish. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our oil, and we're gonna do this a little bit at a time, and I'm gonna have this on a low speed, so just a little bit, and while we're mixing. Ready? That beautiful yes okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix our dry ingredients okay so we're gonna go ahead and add our cinnamon our baking powder do you guys remember when I used to mess up and tell you guys baking soda yep just Let's to clarify that again that was baking powder <laughs> ground ginger if you use fresh ginger for this, you're gonna make that really fancy and it's gonna be really strong. So get a hold of powdered ginger. Some delicious clove. It's holiday season, why not? <laughs> and some salt. Let's mix those ingredients. Ooh, it already smells delicious. That clove smell gives me tingles. Does it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. If you guys haven't had my apple empanadas, you guys should try them. They are amazing. I'll put the link in the description area for you. Especially if you open them in half and then... Um, You're going to hmm. dip them in your coffee? Uh-uh. I was going to say add some ice cream in there. Oh my goodness, you oh, naughty girl, so Cloud. <laughs> yeah, those are really good. They're not um, they're not yeasty ones that are super puffed up, guys. If you're interested, they have that good crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. I mean, if you like those, then you're gonna enjoy my recipe. And you can substitute your um, your pumpkin filling in there real easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and incorporate these ingredients. I'm gonna add uh, half of my flour, mix it, and then I'm gonna add the other half. You ready? Ready. And the speed that I'm using, I'm using about a five, which is like a medium. So, one, two, three. My baby don't mess around. <laughs> Okay, back to cooking. You guys want me to cook, not talk. No, we're here for the dancing, please. <laughs> no, I've own. gotten a lot of requests for me to stop talking. Let's get to the recipe, guys. <laughs> well, but this nobody is, said that to this me is, to stop dancing. <laughs> this is serious work. <laughs> All right. You pour half of it in there.
You guys excited I updated my mixer? <laughs> Only because the other one broke on you. <laughs> <laughs> it did, but I'm the still not- a recipe, right? <laughs> I'm still not ready for my uh, stand mixer. I have a goal for myself and that's when I'll get it, guys. A sand mixer? I mean a stand Are you mixer. Are going to make some mint? You know what? I do some wood shop. Don't play. Okay? <laughs> you done laughing at me? Yeah. Ay, bendito. I can't with, with this girl. I can't with this lady, you guys. Let's let's just continue with the recipe. So está loca esta mujer. I'm in a stand mixer. All right. So now all that flour that's on the outside, let's scoop it down. Look at that, how nice and creamy it is. It's like a nice creamy peanut butter. It's beautiful batter. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our finely shredded carrots. I just used my cheese grater, and I have two. One's super fine and the other one's a little bit thicker. I went with the one that's a lot smaller, but if you don't have that one, the thicker one should work as well. Go ahead and add that. Your walnuts or pecans and your raisins are gonna be optional. You can make this without these, both of these, or you can make it with. I prefer it with both. So go ahead and mix it all in. I remember when you first made this, I was like, those are too many ingredients in the cake. And you're like, trust me, trust me. No, no, no. Boy, I'm so glad I trusted you. Yeah, um, the three cups, you can go three, three and a half cups of carrots. If you do anything less, you're gonna miss out. It's carrot cake, need some carrots. All right, so now that we're done mixing this, we're gonna go ahead and place it into our baking dish, all right? Give me one second, hang tight. Am I making a mess yet? Not yet. Oh. It's not baking if I don't make a mess. Only a little bit fell off. Oh. Either the bowl's too big or too small. You guys know how I roll. But I bet if it was bigger and that one single drop of palm. Right? That's right. <laughs> you guys really like the beer, yeah. It was delicious. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Once we've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it on here a few times. So drop it like it's hot, but gentle, okay? Cause hot would be too hard. So just drop it gently. <laughs> just so we can get all those bubbles that are at the top to come up. Once you've taken all those bubbles out of your cake batter, you wanna make sure that your oven is set at 350 degrees. Well, it's gonna depend on your oven, okay? Don't come back and say, my stuff burnt, don't. Pay attention to your oven, it's gonna be important. So let me go ahead and place this in the oven and I'll see you guys when it's ready. I like how you're throwing me shade. Hey. They don't know that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, ready? Yep. We're gonna go ahead and begin. I'm gonna add about three fourths of my butter at a time. Oopsie! And we're gonna deliciously looking cream cheese. Yes. You wanna make sure that keep your cream cheese out. If it's cold, you're gonna get lumps in here. So please be careful. Make sure that you leave it out so it can get nice and smooth and cream up. Now let's begin. So slowly, once I incorporate this butter. Then I'm gonna add another uh, portion and then our final portion. Ready? Ready. Well, apparently this is really creamy. <laughs> it likes me. <laughs> Why are you using just the chef's thing, the whisk, just one? This one only has one. <laughs> Why not use two? Because the other one's for something else. Okay, you want me to make you happy? Let me show you what that one's for. That's a funny whisk. It's a singular. It's the chef's whisk. Girl. <laughs> Give it to me. I'll eat what's left over. 
Parecías a Mike Wazowski con un ojo. <laughs> Don't listen to her, anybody. <laughs> Just when you thought this recipe was going to be fast, we get here and this is what you guys want. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Claude, you're distracting our friends. Stop. You, there's a there's some cream cheese on there. He can follow on this. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Girl, that did feel like Michael's Elsie, I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Ay, bendito. Ya pensé que ibas a hacer sushi ahorita con A veces caes mal. Like, seriously, sometimes. But I love you. Mike Wazowski. No, no, no. Let's continue, guys. Don't listen to Claude right now. <laughs> you got you started, oh boy. <laughs> We have the giggles now. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. This is gonna be delicious, okay? So scrape it. The cake the is, but we're not. <laughs> well, that's what I've said. We, we may behavior. do, we may, let's behave, Cloud. Come on. We don't wanna scare anybody away with our conversation. <laughs> It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We are gonna cook together. You guys have been dying for us to cook. Go, you get and bake together. Because I'm laughing. I'm, I'm excited. Laugh. I'm making her laugh off camera. She's okay, doing. Guys, she's doing these this. faces like when we were kids, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, so once you've uh, made your frosting, for me, I like to put it in the refrigerator. It just makes it easy to go on really smooth over that delicious cake. But we're just waiting for our cake to cool before we can do that step. So I'll see you guys shortly when it's that time. That look good to you guys right here? Perfect. Okay, let's go with that. I wanted to say we hit rock bottom, but not in that way, guys. Oh, the walnut? <laughs> oh, the bottom of the plate. All right, I hope you guys like this. We're gonna give it a taste, which I've already tasted a billion times, practically. Super good. Mm -mm. That's amazing. It's, a mo it's moist. I don't want to say it, but... Someone has to say it. Mm -hmm. Good work, sis. Yeah. Yes, I'm blushing because I'm so excited for you to try this recipe and for you to shine. Because if you don't shine, I don't shine. I cut the time, not the flavor, and I think that you guys are gonna do really good with this recipe. It's super easy, and I think you're ready to go and show and, you know, show everybody what you got. <laughs> so on that one, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!